So guys, I'm back from Milano and Songs 2024 is over and I brought some goodies with me and also really want to share with you my thoughts and impressions of this year's biggest perfume exhibition of all time that so many cool people visited in March and it was really cold so I can't wait to share with you all the details and keep on watching for you know all the information helpful links are gonna be below and if you want to know something in particular just drop me a comment other than that I would appreciate your thumbs up as well as subscription and without any further ado uh, let's get started so we have a lot to talk about and hi guys welcome I'm back home I am exhausted after uh, you know, four really intense days of songs, but it has been the best time ever. First of all, I met so many cool people. I love the energy and of course all the perfumes because that's what songs is about and uh, I want to let you know that in case you are a perfume lover maybe a collector and you really love niche and you're always looking for something new songs is the best place to visit honestly if you want to meet people from the industry I personally find it is very inspiring to actually experience not only perfumes but also see and listen and chat with people behind the brand like noses creators and uh, exons is the best place to do all of that so in case you've never been you can definitely check out their website you know it is also open to public so you can just register and visit but i want to warn you this year it was bigger than ever and uh, they had like a line outside where people stood under the rain trying to get in and it was so overcrowded which might be good for brands because you know they're just getting attention and that's nice but it is pretty challenging to walk inside so yeah that's just something you need to remember but yeah other than that songs is very cool and you know i started going to Milan I believe in 2017 if I'm not wrong and I used to blog there I used to interview people there you can rewatch that older content but today I really want to sit down I've been filming so much and putting lots of content on my Instagram so if you don't follow me there I would really appreciate if you could just you know subscribe and uh, like my post because oh, it is challenging, it is, you know, competitive place to be and there are so many people who came up to me and told me that they are following me and they love what I'm doing, so that's amazing. But I would also love to, you know, just get your comments and ideas and exchange our perfume passion on this channel. So yeah, I would really appreciate your feedback and comments but okay with that being said now the first question is what is most coolest brand I found at Exons this year and to be honest with you it was hard to choose just one because there have been so many and honestly I haven't seen everything because the first day like literally I was just chatting to the people with people and like visiting people who I know and you know, I'm a very open person I'm truly excited so maybe I should be more strict and stick to my agenda and schedule but whatever okay I had a few nice discoveries but the one that I really want to share with you because it's very special to me is called Seven Gates and this is a Turkish niche brand I was really amazed by the rise of Turkish niche over the last couple of years especially when I discovered ethereal um, diotic in Florence and they had perfume called Body in Utah which is inspired by my favorite movie ever and if you know you know but uh, okay now I discovered a new one which is called Seven Gates they have a very bright fun cool concept where all perfumes are inspired by these almost futuristic images so how they work is they tell the painters the idea and then it inspires them to you know create a painting and then they use that for you know as a base for the perfume 
so they have quite a few perfumes in their collection i have a discovery set right here and features the best sellers their perfume immortal shade is a vanilla very woody very beautiful fragrance that i loved most but i was happiest about their violet fragrance because I'm going through a violet obsession right now and since this is rather, you know, this considered old-fashioned note is not too popular but speaking of violet I've been to such a cool presentation of new Violette Q by Jardine Retrovo and it was an amazing event um, the owner Clara she actually made violet ice cream and everyone including Clem here <laughs> were laughing at me that I had four scoops but I couldn't stop it was so delicious and anyway they had a very spicy violet fragrance and it's a new launch so I was I was like particularly happy about it but this brand also has a beautiful violet fragrance and actually it is inspired by Frida Kahlo and it's called Heroin so the bottle is actually really nice too I want to show you you know the presentation is beautiful and it is just such an amazing scent you guys that is not just about the violet but it has that note in there and it is kind of powdery but also cool chic and I love that it is also slightly woody musky so there is a lot in here and it is not your typical violet fragrance but I appreciate that note inside so yeah that was kind of like the brand I was really inspired by but there being so many more and I don't even know where to start oh my god I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all of this but I'm also excited so I will go through these in no particular order and this brand Step Abroad that is based in Milano had a launch of three nice fragrances inspired by Chicago and they have these uh, you know uh, beautiful fragrances in the format of a graffiti sprayer which is like the coolest thing ever because they are designed for your body your clothing your hair everything and the sprayer in this is amazing okay this is a new bottle but check it out oh I love that I wish all perfumes had a sprayer like that and red flamingo is a very cool fragrance that has note of rose and black tea and it is juicy and at the same time very modern not typically rosy that's for I was really impressed with it it smells super contemporary and it was super cool and talking about contemporary fragrances oh my god room 1015 which is one of my most favorite brands ever you know I discovered at my first six songs and Mike is so cool all their perfumes are inspired by different music and different you know genres of music and the new launch is absolutely breathtaking called wave child and the images were all kind of Californian beach inspired surfers and you know sand ocean but it's not your typical aquatic fragrance which is good to me because I'm not a fan of this perfume style and it has been quite popular at songs it stood out to me the most because a couple of brands had aquatic perfumes but nothing was quite like wave child because it doesn't have this typical ocean I don't know just don't like these fragrances and in here I get more of a cocktail fruity and summery vibe so I'm excited the bottle is so pretty I won't be opening anything on camera today because otherwise this video would be way too long but I really want just to run you through my biggest highlights so since we are on the subject of aquatic perfumes this is quite a trend because a few other of my favorite brands like Carna Barcelona also released an aquatic perfume Helix but this is once again not that oceanic type of fragrance we have some citrusy notes in here some florals so it is way more wearable even for those who are not crazy about these kind of fragrances and how cute is this bottle oh my goodness helix is definitely a summer fragrance and it's very easy going so it's not challenging at all i think a lot of people will like it it has this beautiful classy almost giorgio armani geo 
type of top note but then you know because of the peach and orange blossom it has more complexity and modern feel to it and in case you're interested in the brands Rome 1015 and Carnival Barcelona you can actually shop their perfumes with my discounts so I will leave them down below in the description box as always but other than that Ducita had also an aquatic perfume this is very different though because it's very woody sandalwood in here is amazing if you love sandalwood you will love this it has this you know salty touch to it a little bit more masculine and the bottle is so pretty it is matte so unlike other Ducita fragrances and black so yeah that's another aquatic perfume I can also tell you that Francesca Bianchi released an aquatic fragrance and that is intense and bold as all of her fragrances and I had a blast with her so it's always nice meeting her and I will be putting you know some footage on the screen so you can just see behind the scenes I'm just trying to make sure that you get as bright um, an impression as possible so with that being said now another trend that i've noticed is milkiness like like tonic fragrances and stuff um i discovered this brand that is getting super popular which is uh giardini di toscana and i have a sample set right now and everyone is going crazy about bianco latte and it is a very nice almost condensed milk caramelized type of lactonic perfume but there are more exciting ones in the collection so i will be testing that and speaking of those lactonic gourmands i have this treasure box from Lorenz fazalia and at this point i really really want to congratulate them on this amazing success that the brand is worth because it is the most crowded booth of X songs this year hands down and so many fans so many people so much booze they're busy but they're doing an amazing job and in here I have three little owls oh, how cute is that and I chose Sugar Kisses, which is that type of, um, you know, sweet candy-like lactonic fragrance. And then two other also gourmandish perfumes, because Lorenz is great at sweet fragrances, which is Summer Hummer. It's fruity, it's exotic. I actually got a preview last or two years ago, if I'm not wrong. And also Sweet Explosion, which I believe was designed specifically for the scented floor and I really want to visit that in New York so yeah maybe I hope that it's in the stars for me this year but okay so there are a couple of more electronic perfumes I noticed they are getting popular which is a good thing and speaking of trends another one is peach yes believe it or not peach is trendy and Lord from Milano is a very luxurious brand I will show you the bottle and you will get what I mean they have this fabulous fragrance and it is actually called fabulous and uh, it is indeed with note of peach not only but peach in here is you know how peach can be just a little bit too summery well this is extremely bright extremely juicy but never over the top so it's still very elegant and chic and I totally love the bottle and the scent it's not just a peachy scent and once again I've just tried Eric Song so I remember the note of peach the most especially because um, a couple of other brands release fragrances with it too like my favorite oh my god Sarah Baker nailed it again with Chris Morris and he's the star anyway I was at the you know um, launch party of a brand he created fragrances for and Sarah Baker's new perfume which is Peach... Peaches... Revenge, exactly, sorry. I don't even want to open this but okay for the sake of the video I will and you guys if you have peach cravings this is the one for you. Okay I won't open it because you need to Rip it off. Okay, maybe I will. Okay, one, two, three, like a... how do you call it? Okay, that was kind of cool, right? So extremely beautiful presentation. Sarah was also so busy, which is great for her. You know, I've been a fan since the beginning. Okay, I won't be messing with it, but just believe me, it's a great peach fragrance. 
me to stand up because otherwise it's a little bit uncomfortable for me. Part of these designs and their Paradise collections is just something out there. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun at their booth and people there are so nice. They have a lot of perfumes, you know, this brand and my favorite Scentologia, they belong together. I've already spoken about them on my channel and I love discovering the entire collection. So I will definitely update you on new releases like Immortal Potion, which is this super dark and beautiful, almost any malic floral note, kind of carnal and very nice. From Paradise Descents, I have Seven Heaven, and it's just like honestly, heavenly, gorgeous fragrance. I also got Celestia Hair and Body Mist, and this is another thing I like that the brand expanded on, you know, kind of like body lines or hair perfumes. I have a few from Electimos, okay, they are somewhere. I'll show you in a second, but this is just something really nice to add to your collection, you know, because some people don't like to wear perfume on the hair because apparently it damages it. Well, I just care, take good care of it anyway, so I don't mind, but this is a nice alternative to, you know, a regular perfume with alcohol. And then, you guys, as a Strikes Notes released this absolutely otherworldly gorgeous uh, tonka bean fragrance and you remember i went through a tonka bean obsession recently right okay just don't drop it this bottle and the scent inside is a straight up masterpiece so it is called tonka holic and if you don't like um, overly sweet tonka bean perfumes, this is the one for you because it smells so exquisite and I used to struggle with tonka bean note uh, for a long time uh, and recently I fell in love with it so I put together like a fantastic top list with perfumes in which it is bold and present but this is awesome so I'm very happy about that and I also have this fragrance called Astrid um, by the brand Memoir d'Amour. So I will be digging into that for sure. Then there is a new line from Memoirs London and oh my god, Holly, and she's a founder, is the kindest person ever. She is so fun and I love how creative she is. So she has a couple of new releases for Memoirs London, which is this amazing brand and the caps she has a thing for beautiful caps the new designs are so so gorgeous and this new line i don't remember the name oh my goodness that is called oh at center right uh sense of time is kind of a patchouli scent and i love the designs on these they are very modern they take you on different adventures and yeah i spent quite some time at their booth Checking out this OMG line, which is very modern, very fun, colorful, prime, great for people who are starting with a niche. I honestly love each and single one of them. There is another brand I love to discover, which is Zero Molecule. They have a lot of perfumes in the collection and a couple of gourmands I loved were so cool, including the one that is super lactonic like condensed milk. So that's just the reference of, you know, that milky trend. But my favorite was Amami because it is a quite intoxicating and floral. So with that being said, now I bumped onto Renier and he is such a talented perfumer. I've been friends with for a long time and he has just recently expanded his rain collection with Incense Rain and he is actually an artist, a painter uh, from South America who lives in Prague and all of his perfumes are inspired by his paintings. So I um, cannot wait to check that one out. You haven't smelled it yet, but what I smelled is the new Kajal perfume and it is called I Can. So kind of like uh, the name, it is uh, very inspiring and uh, you know, just uh, make sure that you're in a positive mood, that uh, you know, this affirmation that it sends is basically that you're good enough, you can do and achieve whatever you want. And the fragrance is just mind blowing, you guys you will fall in love with it, honestly, like I did last year when Mohammed presented me as a preview. I loved it so much, I couldn't wait for it to launch. 
and as all Kajal perfumes it is so beautiful but there is something special about it so I really love that and also my hair sprays from Electimus that I've told you about already. These are Mercurial Cashmere, which, you know, is one of my favorite, very essential floral perfumes. Elaine in there is so gorgeous, really creamy and smooth. And I love that fragrance for special occasions. It's kind of bougie, but now, you know, just bathing it in this um, hairspray, uh, I, I cannot wait to do that. Oh my god, I still have so much stuff to go through. Kind of panicking here, to be honest. Okay, uh, let's do it quick. Discovery sets, really cool brands, you guys, honestly. Um, Antonology we have here. Also, Alfred Ritchie with such cool designs. Just look at this box. I mean, like very pretty, very artistic. Then I was head over heels about Place de Lisse. How do you say it? I'm not sure, but I can tell you that the line is pretty something, especially this one fragrance. I will try to find it. I remember the name is called Seychelles. And if you love powdery perfumes, you guys, I I, I was freaking out. I smelled it. I was like, this is the prettiest thing ever. It's not a new perfume. Maybe it's a bestseller. I don't know. But I, I'm going crazy about it. I definitely need a full bottle. It's definitely me in a perfume. Kind of like my signature scent for sure. So yeah, inspired by nature. Very lovely fragrances, you guys. This new release from Pia Bourillon took my breath away. I'm not kidding you. It is or Kedivi and it's vanilla with tomato leaf and believe it or not it smells so harmonious. Pia is such a talent and all of his perfumes are super cool. They are fun, they are luxurious, they smell very modern and this fragrance is kind of vanilla but done in a totally new way, which I loved a lot. Okay, see, I have so many perfumes here. Okay, maybe by the end of the video you will not be able to see my face. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so I have a couple of more discovery sets, like from Niche and another great Turkish brand and all of their perfumes are inspired by different planets. And this is such a cool and modern approach, you know. There are really so many truly heavy luxury type of brands and I prefer something a little bit more modern, something that really just expands the boundaries and actually maybe even break rules sometimes. So that's why I'm drawn to the brands that do that. And uh, yeah, it was so much fun other than discovering new perfumes. By the way, I have a couple more and these are very heavy. I will try to show you the bottle from, you know, the new line of um, Memoirs London. How cute is this? Time Lapse, it's a green perfume and I'm not the biggest fan of this genre, but I remember that I totally, oh yeah, I love this. Oh my God, it smells like not scented lotion, but not even lotion. It smells definitely very green, but it has that very particular scent that I associate with body care, but I'm, it's not creamy nor it's powdery, but it has something very particular to it. So yeah, those are super cool. And the new signature scent indeed is Max Phillips, and this took me by surprise, uh, that is called Floral Affair, and it is very floral, kind of reminiscent of Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian, which is one of my first niche signatures, and I'm super happy about this one. And also the news from Indult. So who remembers my review or but to say interview with the owner a couple of years ago? It was one of my first ones on the channel. You can check it out. And these ones, QE404 uh, and Isvaraya are so good. I mean, like, if you don't like leather, but you want leather, or you love leather, but you want a new leather, <laughs> this is the one for you to check out. And Isvaraya has such a gorgeous plum note in there. I'm in love with both of these. I hope this, you know, pyramid of perfumes won't fall on the floor. And last but not least is Patchouli 
fig uh, from uh, Matelier Livre. So this is a very beautiful bottle and a gorgeous patchouli fragrance because I've been on a hunt for a couple of them. Much it for perfumes like bigger bottles um, that I kindly got for review and stuff. I have way more samples and um, also discovery kits that I will be playing with. If there is anything particular on your mind you want to know or you're interested in, just drop a comment below because as I said, it is very helpful for me to get your feedback because Otherwise, I'm just like sitting here talking to myself and also um, stay tuned for future videos. That's for make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can give this one thumbs up and uh, yeah, I am I'm, I'm so inspired right now. Also meeting people from the industry, also uh, fellow YouTubers like Olivia and Clam, a couple of other girls and boys, Chris. Um, it was uh, so much fun, so much fun. I could repeat it um, anytime soon, but maybe it's gonna be in New York next time. Fingers crossed, guys, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. It was rambling, it was maybe all over the place, not too in depth, but there are more videos coming up as I've said. So, yeah, make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see you next time really soon. Bye, guys.